BYOU, my name is Katie Mills and I am a bassoonist from Bloomington, Indiana. I just graduated from Bloomington High School North and I will be attending the Manhattan School of Music next year. I am excited to be touring Europe with the 2019 National Youth Orchestra. In this video, I will be sharing some tips and tricks to you double reed musicians on how to improve your double tonguing skills. As double reed players, we all encounter excerpts that require us to articulate at a really fast tempo. In these scenarios, learning how to double tongue can be a major game changer. I'd like to share with you how I approach learning this skill. Tip number one, pick a syllable pattern that works best for you. The most common approach to this skill is by saying the syllables ticket. Other syllable options include tucka, dugga, and dugu. Personally, I prefer tucka, but each person will find a syllable pattern that works best for them. Spend time experimenting with each syllable pattern and narrow it down to the one that works best for you. Tip number two, the easiest way to practice double tonguing is to continuously say the syllables without your instrument. Doing this will build the muscles in your tongue that will allow you to articulate very clearly over a long period of time. You can practice this while you're driving, cooking, or any other time you spend away from your instrument. Tip number three, practice different scale patterns and set a goal tempo for each day. One of my go-to patterns is playing scales and 16th notes up one octave. Start with articulating each note in the scale four times, then twice, and then once. When practicing these exercises, always, always, always use a metronome. Start with a slow tempo that you feel comfortable with and then increase it each day little by little. If you can't reach your goal on a given day, that's perfectly all right, just try it again tomorrow. You can always create your own patterns to keep your practice interesting. Tip number four, incorporate the skill into fast tonguing passages in your music. The first thing you should do is slow the passage down, clearly articulating each note with the syllable that works best for you. Once you can play it at that tempo clearly, work up the tempo click by click. This process is meant to take days or even weeks. To demonstrate, I will play a bit of the famous bassoon excerpt from Mozart's Marriage of Figaro. <sighs> Once I feel comfortable with that, I will increase the tempo until I get to performance tempo. <laughs> Last but definitely not least, tip number five. Incorporate the skill into your daily warm-up routine. Double tonguing is a skill that you will lose if you stop practicing it. That being said, make sure to spend a part of your everyday warm-up routine on double tonguing. For me, just about five minutes a day on a simple scale pattern is enough to maintain the skill. To sum it all up, be sure to start with practicing without your instrument. Once you have established a syllable pattern, start by working on your scale slowly and then increasing the tempo. Finally, start adding your double tonguing skills into your music. Remember to practice it every day, always use a metronome, and find what works best for you. Thank you for watching this NYOU mini masterclass. If you found this useful, please be sure to check out our other videos. Once again, my name is Katie Mills. Best of luck.